Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some lovely Lee Evans. This is the problem with cheap airlines. I love cheap airlines. I love Ryanair so much. You can travel to Dublin for $9.99. Let's go. Scam! It's like, the other day I had to book a flight on one of these cheap airlines. They right. got a scam going, haven't they? You've got to do it all yourself. You have to get on the airline's website, put all the details in for them, choose your own seat, wear your own <laughs> luggage, you're not overweight, print out your ticket on your printer. Fucking, I only wanted to go to Tenerife. I didn't know I was working for the fucking company. <laughs> Now I'm getting worried whether they're going to give me the time off work to go on this trip. <laughs> and have you been through security lately at the airport? Have you been through security? They still make you take your shoes off. Do you know why? In case you wake up that bloke staring at the x-ray screens. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going through security with no shoes on, doing all that shit, you know? <laughs> you can see him over there staring at the screens going... <laughs> I love that it's security. I love that when you go through security, you know, they make you take your shoes off and your belt and your jacket and your bag. It all goes in that I'm tray, sorry. goes through the x-ray machine. You're actually saying to this is security. This is true story. I go through this every single time. And for me, it's tougher because I carry so much electronics. I carry my laptop, my MacBook. So imagine carrying my laptop, my MacBook, my iPad, my iPhone, my watch, my AirPods. I probably bring like two phones sometimes, my camera. So I'm bringing like seven electronics and I have to bring them all out. Let me make sure they can see them. Oh, mate, it's long. It's long. Oh, so stressful. Security bloke, you know, these terrorists, they actually think they're going to change the way we live our lives. Oh, I don't fucking think so. You know, you're standing there, start bollock naked. <laughs> Some bloke behind you wearing white gloves going, oh, no. <laughs> Not going to change my life. <laughs> Life. <laughs> Every day's a crack. <laughs> now, now, if you see if you see an unattended bag left somewhere, you go, ah, the fucking hell's that? Years ago, if you saw an unattended bag, you go, I'm fucking up and not. <laughs> Then you gotta go through that big metal detector, you know that big that big doorway one? You know the one that's meant to pick up any metal? Have you noticed? Have you noticed? <laughs> it's made of metal. <laughs> that's not even a sniffer dog that's into fucking drugs, you know? <laughs> <laughs> gotta find some soon, man. <laughs> I'm getting the eebie-jeebies. Now you're just about to climb aboard a jet-powered machine. The engineers have spent years eliminating dragon turbulence so you can reach speeds of 500 miles an hour at 37,000 feet. Destinations far across the planet. But they overlook one thing, one tiny design fault that fucks all that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the queue in WH Smith's at the airport. Fuck me, have you been in that queue? <laughs> it's the most miserable conga in the world. You know, speaking of WH Smith, have you guys realised when you get a meal deal at the airport, it's like almost double the price? Like, if you're getting a meal deal at, you know, WH Smith or Boots in C Centre, you're probably paying, like, it used to be £3, I think it's, like, £4 now. Yeah, that's just in Birmingham C Centre. But you're buying the same stuff, you know, your sandwich, your snack, and your drink. At the airport, it's, like, six, seven pounds Why? Even the, the McDonald's, not even the McDonald's, Burger King in, in the airport, it's, like, it's, it is double the price, I think. Why, why is that the case? I don't get that. Please, someone, please tell me if you do know. Thank you. There's people in that queue, they've been there for years going ah, da, 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 da. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, they always have two people on the tills, unless they're really busy, then they just have the one. <laughs> Which is why when they call the flight, you're late for the gate, you're running up one of those moving walkways, dragging your bag behind you on wheels, <laughs> Have you noticed it starts to make that suggestive growling noise like it's getting turned on? Have you noticed that? You'll be walking up one of those moving walkways, your bag will be behind you, going like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you're really late, it starts to get really sexed up. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> if everyone's late, it sounds like a fucking orgy, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, do me. Do me, big time. Do me. <laughs> Do me? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> if I said that in our house, my wife would go like, fucking what? 
you know, do me, do me. I'll do you in a minute, you chimp. <laughs> you get to the gate, you get to the gate of the airport, there's those smug fuckers at the gate, you know, the speedy borders, you know them fuckers that are paid extra to be fast-tracked up the front. You can see them standing there going, think you'll find I'm first. <laughs> fast-track saved me once before. I never believed in fast track, but at the time I was, I was gonna miss my flight. I've never missed a flight. I was gonna miss my flight. I was about 20 minutes away from missing my flight. And literally I was in a taxi here and I, I bought fast track while I was in the taxi. So by the time I get to the airport, I can just use the fast track. And it helped me. Cause that's when I got to the airport, it took me like less than five minutes to go through the uh, security and everything. So fast track do up and I paid about six ninety nine or something like that. I went on Ryanair app, it was so cheap as well. I was able to be fast track and I didn't miss my flight. So yeah, sometimes fast track do up, but it's only use it if you feel like you do, you are gonna need it. Like you, there's a good chance of you running late. You know, you're traveling at peak times, then yeah, use it. Trust me, it's good. You know, he's going for his pre-flight checks, you know, Polonek, check. <laughs> Cordy Roy trousers, <laughs> check. <laughs> Really small penis. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna get on the plane first. I don't think so. You know when that easy jet woman starts speaking into that microphone, you know, speedy borders and passengers with children only, please. When that comes out the speakers, <laughs> that's translated into ready! Bando! Everyone's like yeah. Faces those speedy borders when they realise they paid extra to be fast tracked onto a fucking bus. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been on one of those buses you have to get to your plane? Have you ever checked out the driver? They're fucking mental. That's why they're putting behind glass to protect the passengers. You can see them in that little cube gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know they got that little hole to put some meat through, you know. <laughs> As soon as he's got you all on his fucking bus, he pisses off across a tarmac, overtaking jumbos, cutting up 737s. <laughs> you all in the back hanging on, you know. What's he doing? <laughs> you all look like the back end of a butcher's van, do you know what I mean? <laughs> do you know what? I love the fact that he paints a picture. It reminds me of Mickey Flanagan. Mickey Flanagan does that a lot. He's so good at that, at painting a picture. I really like that, because now I can picture it. Me being on them little buses, you know, going to inside the plane. Yeah, it's so true. You get to your plane, you know, you walk up the steps, and there to greet you at the door is oh, Orange Face Phyllis. Because <laughs> you know everyone that works for EasyJet's fucking orange. And the trouble with EasyJet is everything's orange. So all the staff keep merging into the background. <laughs> You're getting on the plane and hovering in front of you is like a hairdo with some teeth. <laughs> Welcome to EasyJet! Fucking <laughs> And have you tried the seats on these cheap airlines? Have you tried the seats? The captain comes over the tannoy and he goes, ah, once we're in the air, you'll be able to kick back and relax. Yeah, yeah. Have you tried pressing that little button in your armrest? Have you tried pressing that? Fucking, that's it, that's it. That's all you get, that's it. <laughs> kick back and fucking relax. <laughs> What's this Hobbit fucking airlines? Because they always say that, then they? When you're coming into land or you're going to crash, put your seat in the upright position. What, 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 what? That's going to save my fucking life, is it? <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> Not only is it a shit amount of room, but now you're one inch closer to the ground, the very thing that's going to fucking kill me! <laughs> in fact, you've got to crash to get more leg room. It's on the... <laughs> Now that is what I call luxury. <laughs> what do you reckon, love? Love? Where the fuck she go? <laughs> well, she won't be needing that then, will she?
Then you get them fuckers, you know, the latecomers who turn up on the plane late, start trying to get their bag in the overhead locker. Oh. That's now you're sat there with some stranger's knob coming at you. <laughs> So again, that's me and the geek. Cause like I don't like you know when everyone start boarding. Even though most of the time when I'm flying right there, I have priority. I could get on first, but I just don't. I can't be asked to go sit down on a plane while everyone else is you know getting on. I'd rather be like the last ten people to get on it. I can't just. I just don't like all the all the faffing about standing up, queuing up, taking about twenty minutes for everyone to go through. Nah, I'd rather just chill. I'm on my laptop, on my iPad, on my phone, just doing something random, downloading podcasts to get on the plane. Let me know what you, what you guys do. Do you guys get, once you get the call to get on the plane, do you guys go straight away or do you guys just relax? Let everyone else go first. Let me know. It depends. If you're traveling with uh, a big luggage, you might want to go first. But if not, just relax, mate. There's no need. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know the in-flight entertainment was dodge the dong. <laughs> He's up there going like, who are you? comply with handheld luggage regulations. He's still trying to squeeze it in there. Looks like he's trying to squeeze Anne Whitcomb into a fucking bread bin. <laughs> <laughs> you look out the window, there's the ground crew. I love the ground crew. There's always that bloke, isn't there, with the headphones plugged into the plane. I always think that's the biggest fucking iPod I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost that bloke as well, isn't it? Going around the plane with a clipboard, you know, ticking stuff off, you know, mm -hmm. just before you take off. Going around the plane, you know, with a clipboard, go, mm hmm. Because uh, 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 uh. that is what you don't want to see. You know, <laughs> you're on the runway, you're just about to take off, you look out your little window and you can see him down on the tarmac, go, ah, ah. What the fuck's that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> You know, you're staring out that window going like ah. Because they always say, they always say, don't they, your life jacket's under your seat. But you never really check, do you? I mean, you have a little feel around, you know. Come across that bloke's shoe in the seat behind. <laughs> Sorry. Because you know that's what's going to happen. You're hurtling towards the ground at 500 miles an hour. You, in a blind panic, will be trying to get a fucking shoe on your head. You know, you're putting on the laces. Mine's not inflating. <laughs> Have you read the safety instructions on the plane? They actually give you the instructions of how to use a sick bag. What, we don't know how to be sick into a bag? Good you're just about to Ralph, you've got it on your head going. <laughs> Does anyone know how to fuck this works? <laughs> And you're sat in your seat, you've got a five hour journey, you're sitting there going, yeah, this is all right, I can sit here for five hours, quite comfortable actually. Mm. And then suddenly that woman gets on the plane, sits in the seat in front of you with that kid that won't stop <laughs> fucking crying. <laughs> and the only thing that stops him is when he pokes his head over the seat in front of you and you go, boo. <laughs> then his mum's face appears in that little gap between the seats and she goes, ah, oh, I think you found a friend there. Oh. Like don't get me wrong here, yeah, don't get me wrong here. Yeah. I'm probably one of the nicest people on the plane, literally. I try to be nice, but it depends. If it's a long flight, yeah, and you can see I'm tired. You can tell, if, like, you can t if it's an early flight, like no one has time. If I, if I fly at six o'clock, I don't have time to be playing with anyone. I just want to sleep. I don't, even if you're sitting beside me and you can see I've got my hood on. I feel like there's times here, yeah, if I've got my hood on and I've got my, uh, and I'm just, I'm like, I just want to sleep. If I have my hood off, I, just, I don't mind the chat. But some people would see you literally fall asleep. That's when they'd be like, hello, hello, you all right? So, are you from Birmingham then? Like, Me, I'm trying to fucking sleep. 
<laughs> Sorry. How many of you guys have uh, been to Ida? <laughs> no, I don't want a fucking friend! Because you know what's going to happen now? She's going to have a fantastic journey and you're going to be Barney the purple fucking dinosaur. <laughs> You're still sitting there three hours late with that kid poking his head up like, <laughs> I fucking hate kids. <laughs> Four hours later, he's still doing it. You're looking at the door going, if that door opens, I'm fucking jumping out. <laughs> After five hours of this, the kid pokes his head up with the seat in front of you and you go, Dah! <laughs> Everyone in the seats behind you is like, fucking well done. <laughs> if you weren't gonna do it, I fucking was. That was about that was about 12 13 minutes. It didn't feel like it. That was fantastic, man. And start checking out more and more Lee Evans, man. He's so funny. Again, when I was growing up, when I used to watch him, I used to see this geezer sweating. So I never really stay. I probably watch for like a minute and then just look away. I never really listen to what he's saying. I just seen some guy sweating on stage. But yeah, this guy is so so good, man. I love his anime. I, mean, I love him when he's very animated, you know, expressing what he's talking about. He's so good at that. If you guys want to see more, check out the Patreon. It goes on the Patreon first. If it's blocked, I've got loads of blocked stuff. So this even might just go on Patreon because it might be blocked on YouTube. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Comment down below. Subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.